Remember when they called us conspiracy theorists for talking about how governments and NGOs carrying out cloud seeding programs or how people have seen an unbelievable explosion of chemtrails and then we're just conspiracy theorists. Well, we were all proven correct once again. The city of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates is flooding. More than six inches of rain falling in a matter of hours. And according to Bloomberg, this is thanks to their cloud seeding program. So this, look at this. This is unbelievable. They are not used to this. What, six inches in just a few short hours? They're used to three inches per year. So in one 24-hour period, actually, I think it was 48, uh, they got two years worth of rain. All right, look at that mall. We were just there. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Look and, at that. you know, they don't have the infrastructure for drainage. So that's why their highways are stuck. They're flooding all over the place. It's wild there. Yeah, yeah and, I mean, uh, I lived I lived in Arizona uh, when I was like 20, and it we had a, a, a rainstorm one day, and it's like one night, and because it's not built for it, it just flooded everything. It was crazy. I couldn't imagine getting that much rain. Like, that's, that's insane. And the cloud seeding program that they've got, so this is legit. This is not a conspiracy theory. Like, oh, no, there's no, they're not seeding clouds. There's nothing about chemtrails. Now, they're two different things, cloud uh, seed, uh, seeding clouds and chemtrails, two different things. One is purportedly supposed to be good, right? The idea that we're going to have rain. The other one is supposed to be bad. It's supposed to stop rain. It's like supposed to stop it, right? That That's chemtrails uh, and cause all sorts of sickness for people and really, really awful. But here is just an insight into UAE's cloud seeding program. Yes, this is real. Just so I know, I have to drive back from Abu Dhabi to Dubai. Uh, no. It's not raining. It's a sunny day. The UAE government invested more than $20 million in research to start a process called cloud seeding. The UAE performs around 1,000 hours of cloud seeding a year, and it's all controlled by this building in the National Center of Meteorology in Abu Dhabi, where they track the whole process. We met with a cloud seeding expert to explain how the seeding process works. We wait the forecast when we have a good you know, chance for, uh, for a cloud. We send the aircraft to that location. It go under the cloud in the first stage of the cloud there is good updraft at that time start to release all the salt and with the good updraft of course it will go inside the cloud uh, the droplets will become bigger and start to uh, rain the center manufactures a salt substance that helps enhance rainfall they put them in what they call flares yeah so that's what you can blame that. And so there, I saw some I saw some people online like, "Come on, you right wing nut jobs out there! This is not cloud seeding. This is clearly climate change." And then the UAE fires back and actually says, "No, yeah, we were cloud seeding. In fact, we confirmed at the Gulf States National Center of Meteorology dispatched seeding planes um, from Al Ain Airport Monday and Tuesday to take advantage of the cloud formations. The seeding planes have flown seven missions over the past two days." So, yes, this was directly responsible for all of this. Of course, this isn't the first time, by the way, and it won't be the last. Back in 2016, one day before the worst floods in Tasmania's in 40-year history uh, in Tasmania in Australia, a cloud seeding plane was launched and brought devastating rain. Look. Residents in southern Tasmania are demanding to know why cloud seeding was conducted over the Derwent River catchment the day before the worst floods in 40 years. Cloud seeding is a technique used to increase rain. Hydro Tasmania has confirmed it flew a cloud seeding flight despite the weather warnings. Farmers believe the technique could have made the flooding worse. Yeah. The Premier says a formal... Yeah, they did make it worse. So, I mean... Maybe we should think about that before we do it again. And in exactly. fact, there was a man we were watching recently on Tucker Carlson who was talking about all these great innovators in California and said, a lot of these guys, they just want to start a cloud seeding business in California and they don't want this book politics and things like that. And I was like, wait a minute. The, yeah, when the, he said that, I was like, hmm. The, the cloud seeding. The cloud uh, seed. I mean, did you know that just, we used this in Vietnam to flood enemy trails as uh, enemy as warfare? Yeah. So this is not a new technology, but yeah, it's, it, it, it can be used. It can go wrong. You can see. Go ahead, Philip. Well, it just this is this is a process that's been kind of balanced on this planet over the course of millions and millions of years, like hundreds of millions of years. And you're going to start messing with that balance. Like, right. I, yeah. That's like absolute hubris, in my opinion. Like that's yes. that's one of those things I don't I don't like when science gets involved in. Like, no, let's not let's not poke that bear. Yeah. yeah, hubris is the right word.
So I just wonder, you know, is anyone going to say, oh, sorry, took it too far, right? Because people can get hurt. We see that uh, in Dubai, the roads shut down, then no one can get to an ambulance. No one can get to a hospital. This, these things have major consequences. We will see something like that. Yeah. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. You know, YouTube thinks that you'll actually like this next video right here. It's personalized based on your own viewing habits. So if you watch the video, please leave a comment. Let us know what you think about it. And we will see you next time, everyone.